Greetings everyone, and Grade here from another H Pirates 4 replay. Yeah. Spawn bottom right side as a Cyan Holy Rim Empire. We have Fitzy here. Spawn on top her left side as a blue Jean d'Arc. We have Divine DFB. It's Let's see now. Rogue, it's Jean d'Arc is basically a French variant with uh, one primary gimmick of Jean d'Arc herself. Holy Empire, still pretty standard, still very good. I will go and see the Aachen Chapel. Aachen Chapel, in my opinion, is still overpowered. One deployment either like right around here for improving the gold, wood. Yeah, probably right around here. I'm probably going to see the Aachen Chapel. I doubt we're going to see the Minwork Palace. Sign has found a good number of sheeple there. Oh, does miss this one. And blue. Finds him. So Sign does find a good number of sheep there. Blue only has the ones right now. And so Blue would not have a good number of sheep. We do have the school cavalry now being pulled on out. Not big surprise. Oh! Y'all are going to see the Minwork Palace. So I probably have to remind people what Minwork Palace is. Minwork Palace does give you access to two unique research, as well as access to Blacksmith, which allows you to research stuff 40% faster and cheaper. Very, very powerful landmark, and very underrated in my opinion. The two unique research allows your spearmen and horsemen to get two additional melee armor, or your knights to get plus two, plus two armor. Making you get the heaviest knights in the game. Heavy in armor, which could be very useful to engage the Royal Knights' probably higher devotion and Royal Bloodlines. Additionally, it can also allow you to get a pretty good push with your men arms in Age 2. The reason why I say that, he's going for stables. The reason why I say that is allows you to research the appropriate defense or offense depending on what you're fighting or fielding. Additionally, cheaper blacksmith research is very, very good. This is the one that gives them plus two melee armor for here, horsemen and spearmen. And this will give knights plus two, plus two armor. So, in your elite uh, knights in age four can have 10, 10 armor. Probably very good for the uh, French variants, which tend to pull out a good number of Arbiteers, so even then they can withstand a little bit more abuse, those knights. Wolf will go down there. And these horsemen can have 2 2 armor in this age, or with the blacksmith research, which is cheaper, 3 3 armor. That is technically the current armor of the Royal Knight right now. This horseman peeling off over there. This horseman is moving up north. Looks like he does find some villages up here. Try to win for our town's center up here. Was unsuccessful. A couple of these villagers taking some good hits. One villager does go down. Two villagers do go down there. Does get some damage there. Horseman here in good numbers. It probably can overwhelm. Now he's going for the two melee armors, horsemen. The Royal Knight still has pretty good base damage, so it can punch through the, even for that plus two armor. But it only deals 17 damage per strike rather than 19. Can't say if that math adds up to anything unique. Probably not, because it's only slightly above a 20 mark, so probably still take the same number of hits for a Royal Knight to kill off a horseman. Looks like uh, Jean Dark has an upgrade to the Man Arms line. She's now a spell sword. Town center has been pulled out there. Jean Dark's dying for a large amount of wood as well. Of course, we do take a bit of damage there. And now these horsemen have 2 2 armor. 
And I don't know if uh, Blue actually realized what uh, Landmark's one's gone for. You probably assume gone for Aachen Chapel. He is not going for Marching Drill, which is now cheaper as well. Garndark here could be finished off. She does have 10 damage. Wolf does go down there. John Dark may go down. She does have three charts of Holy Wrath. She should at least still be able to get one. Let's get a uh, Holy Wrath there. Or a nice charging the way forward. And now the scout may get hit. Scout does go down there. Bill's just trying to pull out this outpost still. Rigney's Cathedral all being pulled on field by the Holy Rim Empire player. These horsemen have taken quite a bit of damage there. Maybe falling back up pro to get healed up wouldn't be half bad. Let's see, I'm also curious. This is also a Castle Age technology. He could try deploying out some knights. This upgrade is actually pretty cheap as well. 300 resources? That's pretty cheap. He could pull out some super heavy knights this age. Or this upcoming age. They should be able to get up to 8-8 eight, eight armor in this age. Which is quite significant. Horseman pushing away forward once again. Gain some damage. Let's take another villager there. Remember, Jean d'Arc does not get faster producing villagers like French. So, sure, our village count is minimal with a second town center. These villagers do manage to escape out into an outpost. He does have plus one damage research as well to allow his horsemen to raid a little bit better. Now, starting to engage, but none of these horsemen are quite wounded. Some of them being picked off. The wounded ones actually being picked off first. Actually, just a good number of them just saw outright wounded. Should have fell back a long time ago to get healed up. Scout does go down, and the rest of these horsemen are falling back up north. Now I've got the knights being pulled on the field, a pair of knights. And John Dark is very far from aging up. Right now, these knights have 4 4 armor, and there's the plus 2 plus 2 armor there. So, soon they have 6 6 armor. The arrows would do 1 damage each to them. The raw knights would do a lot less damage as well. Does use Holy Wrath there, but I think that was too early. Let's get some arrow hits there. Barry's now being claimed up. House going on up. And product does go down. Sign has claimed three relics. Remember, he has Regnese Cathedral, so this actually is six relics in Golden Cub. This could potentially be another relic. The last one's way up there, which he's likely not going to get, but this one is very obtainable. Nice push right forward. They do have 2 2 armor. It still has even the basic research you can get, and those things are discounted. You can see here. The range armor is 175, but here it's just 105. A good charge attack there. Survival techniques and weird barrel now are being researched. These four knights should be able to do these raw knights, no problem. They should turn around and fight. They yeah, have superior armor and health and damage, being Castle Age versus a uh, Feudal Age. Raw Knight does go down there, does use Restoration there, and it's trying to fall back now. He can always fall back with some Prelates, get healed on up. Ronark did pose a, a wrench to his plans, but went in there successfully and went got out successfully. Second side has been catched by Sign as well. 
The prelates could just fall back, set up a medic station, and then push forward once again. Now I've got more melee damage, got the guild hall being researched, which makes his opponents nice. Doesn't have access, the royal knights not have access to royal bloodlines, which means his opponents' uh, knights are going to be far superior to the royal knights. We've got two stables on the field, both have been consecrated. Right now, the French player may want to be extra defensive. Yes, right now, there's nothing here that will stream that he has gone for the Minwork Palace. And I don't know if the French knows about the Minwork Palace. Actuality, before I can take time, back on out. Go to blue. Draw into Arcus three fourths the way. Reveal. Oh, he does he's not even seen into his base. Though granted, it may be a bit hard to say when switching between players like that. Guild hall is now complete. Trivoli is being researched now. Though you may realize that seeing the horseman had us to melee armor them, but I don't know if he, he would have actually clicked on a horseman. More holy German knights being pulled on the field. Yeah, those arrows, he could have torched down that outpost no problem. One damage per arrow is nothing to be worried about. Now I've got these not veteran royal knights. Veterans royal knights on the way. He does, of course, get the free melee blacksmith research. I go for a line of palisade walls there to ghost. And he does get denied the couple of knights. He saw two just needs to start running away. Royal Knights falling back over here. Monk or Prelate trying to grab this relic. He may need to stay in a fight with these guys, but they're wounded. Actually, no, he's going to draw them away. The scout is out of vision range of the Prelate, and the Prelate does pick up the relic. If he is able to grab that relic, he will have 10 relics worth of gold income, which is going to be massive. As well as all three sacred sites. He's just swimming in gold income. This, he has six villagers on gold and he has over a thousand. In comparison, his opponent has 16 and has 500, 600. He has half the gold income with 10, with more than double villagers on it. I think what happens if he would have got that relic back. We got additional melee armor now being researched by the Holy Empire player. Now they're up to eight, seven armor. Oh, they get up to 9 armor this, uh... Oh, inspired, that's why. It should get up to 8 armor, but right now these guys are inspired, so they can get up to 9 armor. Guild Hall right now is collecting up food. Pilot recapturing that sacred site. Sees that one being decaptured. He can charge for these guys here. More range armor being brought on in as well. So from the Prelates and Inspiration, these guys can get up to 9-9 armor. That's a lot. And up to 30 damage as well. You see Gamerson's not bringing research, which that may not be all that important. Local Doggo does go down. These Royal Knights, oh, this could be a great engagement here for Cyan. He sees this. Counter-attack. Charge way forward. Some may connect, but overall he's trying to run. There's a number of Arbiters in the field. And 
It looks like he will escape on out. However, there's not a lot of stuff to keep him back. If our cast of Benjamin knows, he's actually relatively safe to continue pushing forward. Scout does go down. Drone arc may be ready to power ready to level up. Let's see, Riders is anti-crossbow. Man of arms or anti-spearmen. I don't know which one would be better in this situation. This opponent has not shown any in in inclination of either being pulled on the field. Both are pros of counter to the Royal Knights. Maybe Riders would be better. He is, she does go with the Man of Arms, which will be a decent frontline unit for the crossbows. Yeah, they'll probably counter better, combo better with that. While the horsemen would just be able to keep up with the Royal Knights, the Man of Arms, the Sean Champions, would be very useful at escorting the crossbows. It's probably better. Also, Swabia now being employed on the field. Damage there. And now there's Imperial Age Volume Empire player going for the Elite Knight research. I farms gonna be very useful. He needs to get out biology by biology as quickly as he can. And you have a massive timing attack window. Who does have a decent amount of counter crossbows? Maybe some spearmen would hurt as well. John's champions do bone sandwich spearmen. Which also some of the Holy Empire player could play on field. We do not have uh, biology not being researched. And for these villagers may go down, but how Swabio can refabricate them. Local doggo gain some bites on end. The walls will be at least ghosted. The rest of these villagers will go down no problem. And the wolf goes down as well. Bit of exposed infrastructure there, which he torched down to get John leveled up a little bit. Got a force of 35 Royal Knights, or Elite Knights, versus a force of 21 Royal Knights with a good number of Arbiters to support. Sacrosite's not being captured on up. And I've got the walls getting hit as well. We got quite a bit of buffs here. He has a number of prelates for the buffs. And these crossbows are exposed. The, raw, the elite knights now just charging the way forward. Able to cleave through all these forces. We've got the red palace and enlistment sent his way forward. Drawn Dark trying to respawn back down back to this force. Probably here is doing a good job of microing around, but these guys are pretty beefy right now. We're all nice charging away for so do the elite knights. Elite knights should be able to win this fight. Crossbows gain some good damage. 
Does use a nice restoration build there, but Jardark's force will get overwhelmed. There's more holy wrath, but looks like Venom the missing. And bring in some champions to aid this composition. Unless he's just going to add us to run away. The crossbows are done for. Got he took the opportunity to attack the crossbows while she was split off the rest of her force. Horsemen, Feed Wage Horsemen and Scout and Royal Knight will go down there. We do have the Red Palace now going field for right there. That is going to be a dangerous hard point. He does not want to go in there. These cavalry units may want to get. Oh, the Red Palace is garrisoned by a sniffing mount, which will rip apart the Royal Knights or the Elite Knights. The elite Royal Knights not being researched. Has to be pulled out on the field. <clears throat> John's champion's now trying to torch down some walls. We've got a number of elite royal knights here. They don't have royal bloodlines. This opponent does have bloodlines. Well, the knights do take quite a bit of damage there. They have 10 10 armor. And I to counterattack now. Trying to bring the red palace. Red palace reaches out to here and make sure, making sure he stays in distance away from the red palace. It's going straight to the walls there, though it's just wooden walls, we will quickly go on down. We need to get some trebuchet to deal with the red panels, no doubt about that. At this point in time, even battered rams don't really pose much of a threat to it. John's champions right now won't be that useful either. It could be upgraded. Palace the gate will quickly go on down. They'll just need to prematurely evacuate out of this region. Four of the relics have been cleaned up by Cyan. And this uh, monster will go on down. Those moving to back down south to respond to it. Got a handful of spearmen, Arden spearmen, research for the Holy Empire player. But for the army taxes and veteran spearmen research, it's going to bring out some elite spearmen relatively soon. Guild Hall right now does have 40 resources. Looks like they've recently withdrawn. And there goes the Guild Hall there. Elite Knights falling back with the Elite Royal Knights. Oh, does find some uh, French traders there. Got a size of 32 Royal Knights here for an army of 24 Elite Knights. This will give Jean d'Arc quite a bit of experience. These knights will go down. It's going to be a massive loss for the Holy Empire player. It does have large amount of resources in reserve. Now going for the men at arms research as well. And Science is trying to run away. There's some wooden walls there to stop them. Maybe I'll get some good strike on these villagers. Keep us fighting some Arbalists there. Getting some good hits there on some of these villagers. And if I'll be fighting inside a choke point there, John Dark will soon go down. There's no way she can really back on out. But looks like she's going to just survive long enough. Divine Restoration may be a good idea. Just get a good heal effect there on this force. Divine Restoration has been utilized. And it's 20, 50 Elite Royal Knights. Paul has two, starting with Master's Spearmen, in which Jean's champions would be a good counter to them. 
Does want the Spearman. They, of course, have five melee armor right now. And, of course, the armor techs have been researched going for 200 weapons, blunt weapons, a bunch of research here. That's going by I being going to I mana arms in the future with their blunt weapons against the Royal Knights. This is a very large number of Royal Knights on the field. We also got the Merchant Guilds not being researched. She's trying to deploy a good number of traders. Maybe good idea to get a gate over here so they don't go through this gate. He is going class on by both sides of spearmen. The spearmen, however, are not here in large numbers. So they will have trouble versus these all these royal knights. This group of spearmen will be cleaned on up. Start to take out some of these royal knights now. But spearmen need to be here in a very large number, and now the uh, siege uh Jean d'Arc have for the last cannon. Yeah, that's quite a bit of healing there from Chivalry. Bring some Jean's champions, they're elite Jean's champions as well. An upgrade of companion camp would be very useful for them. Especially for those spearmen. Let's get the cannon out as well. Little church looks like rotating over here, trying to find this gold deposit or this stone deposit. However, it does find the spearman deposit. A little bit anger to be found, though. Now that the Royal Knights push way forward, Spear Brace empty beat to put on out. Does not get Spear Brace there. Remember the Spearmen is starting to go down. Royal Knights can really punch these inferior number of Spearmen quite well. It will be a good number of losses on the Royal Knights, that's for sure. Right now, Blue does have a higher value killed than Cyan, but it is relatively even. Even Cyan is all of those Royal uh, Elite Knights. More stone walls going up. Let's help him secure up her trade line and also still securing up some gold on the map as well. Look at that chivalry healing. More spearmen there. He does interrupt the wall placement there. I destroyed some of these walls as well. And now there's some traversable walls up there, useful for crossbows and arbiters. Arbiters, of course, get plus two range on top of walls, bringing the range to the seven, and they can blow out passives to bring up the range up to eight. Keep here has a, both the cannon, bombard, and relic. It's a very powerful keep here. Does not have court architects, however. There's court architects. Got a good amount of healing there. Good number of tears. Divine restoration is very useful in this situation. See all those pluses. See a bunch of pointy sticks here. Reinforced defenses there. Increase the health of walls, towers, and gates. They already get a little bit extra health, and now they have even more health. Stone walls trying to be ghosted. But it's going to torch down one. Now we've got a breach here. The keep still pulls a threat as Arvo's placement. And right now, Jean's champions will be very useful. It'll be a direct counter to the spearmen. Holding Arlo is being researched. Spear moving around to find a small group there. Arvo tears push way forward against good damage. They do have Gamerson, so they see the Arbor Thiers also have 10 armor. Which is actually really absurd, so they actually are a decent counter to the Spearmen. Where they just take less damage from them. The Senior arrows are being researched as well. Trying to charge his way forward, trying to break his way through. Uh, that was not very good Divine Holy Wrath. Primer or secondary town sort of firing this orbital tier replacement, getting some pitch, uh, some chip damage, or a bit more than chip damage. 
And this keep will finish off those units, no problem. All six sides have been captured up by blue. We got some trebuchet now pulled up by Cyan to gauge this keep. And all of these outposts. Fortified, fortified, unupgraded, no weapon placements or anything. Let's like spearmen do find a handful of villagers. I'm gonna shank the spearmen. And I still believe he should deploy out a good number of Jones champions, at least get them upgraded. We got five cannon plant field. Against all those spearmen, maybe some Rebolquins. Do not have chemistry not being researched by Jean d'Arc, as well as Archer upgrades. I think he forgot about the fact that uh, Jean's champions do bone sandwiches with spearmen. Because. He is going for archers. He's going to try to counter spear with archers. Bombard's not engaging the keep, but he is getting receiving mercy repairs. One of the cannons have gone down to the culvert. Spear here. Raw nice try and collapse on in all the siege weapons. More of the French cannons have gone down. And all the siege weapons are getting disintegrated. Culvert may find does find another shot there. One cannon remains. Raw nice pushing away forward, taking out some of these villagers. And there's a bunch of uh, angry men pointy sticks. John will go down for the first time. The keep is still standing. No more can remain, but now there's a little better in hitting it for the spear and hitting the better in. Spear and trying to pursue the royal knights. John Dark has been redeployed. It's like a thousand gold right now. I can't see the ability, but I think it's like a thousand gold. All I can see up here is John Dark's unique to John Dark. Emergency repair will soon be off cooldown, which will not repair up the keep entirely. It will be repaired up by 3,000 health, which is, of course, free repairs. Got two fortified outposts being upgraded for Jean d'Arc. And Spearman pushing way forward. There's Bullying Oil here. The Spearman are taking quite a bit extra damage. They do have 20 torch damage. And this does have only five fire armor. Keeps them in set of delays. We've got, of course, Ghost repairing it up. Maybe it'll destroy the keep. Keep has gone down, but you will lose a quite large spearman there. All the spearmen will go down, but he does have a hundred of them on the field. He has only has 74 villagers, apparently. Wait, that's not even... Where's the rest of the hundred spearmen? Yep, spearmen just streaming on in. Has so many barracks back here. We're playing to some mana arms as well, which will have good... Anti armor damage as well, as was being bit beefier. Right now they're doing 29 damage per heavies versus the spearmen's. Much higher damage versus the cavalry, so spearmen will do more damage versus the cavalry. 1.818. Though the DPS may be similar with the higher attacks with the mana arms. The Red Palace has gone down the trebuchet. Which is actually quite a bit of a defensive placement loss. He is going to start repairing it up. Does only require wood to repair it up. Doesn't have a whole lot of wood in the reserves, the Jean d'Arc. Has quite a bit of food and gold. Well, Empire players going to try to push it forward with uh, mass numbers. Spearmen, mana arms, push away four. Got a certain number of crossbows. Insufficient wood over there. So the Red Palace is not repaired, so it's not firing. Jean has plenty of food and gold, has done another trade caravan from the field. Red Palace is not a set of blaze, it's not repaired, so it can't be a set of blaze. Veterans push away four, man at arms case them Carbola Tears. 
does have another pass of one field with extra range. Science army will be cleaned on up. And got a bunch of infantry villagers trying to force down those batting rams. And Sion can't be losing these villagers. It may have caused Swabby. He just simply doesn't have a villager number right now. Has good reserve resources, so mass man arms are still good. He has a good number of relics, so he has good gold income. One second side has been recaptured. This one being recaptured up now. And arms being pulled out in mass, which are much more accessible now than spearmen. They will see bonus damage from the elite part of the tiers. Agonel, push way forward. Finds a great volley there on the elite part of the tiers. Spearman, man of arms, now will soon be able to push on forward. Good hits there. Veterans connecting with the outpost. Man of arms. Pushing way forward, crossbow's getting hit. Trebuchet is pushing way forward as well. The red palace is not being repaired on up, still down. The need for nice trying to force and overrun the various siege weapons. First, the Maganel. Some veteran horsemen being flown up the to counter out the crossbows. Arbatiers. And science now falling back there. Our player doesn't have a whole lot of food in reserve at the moment. Nor does the French players. Both players are running low on the food. Aliens just got the pawn a few, reducing the damage received from the keep. Trying to have 20 damage per arrow. Roro Knight trying to push away over the flank, trying to overrun the trebuchet. It's very, very damaged. It does go down there. More main arms being his forces there. Divine Restoration there. Drone works still alive. Range of health remains, so it has the same health as a knight. Bombards do go down to the culverns. More spearmen now being pulled on the field. That's the last of the Holy Roman Empire's wood reserve. Has quite a bit of gold. Maybe we'll just purchase some food. Maybe some wood for some Maganels. Culverns do go down. They're expensive losses. All the Royal Knights are going down, so got good number over here, and the high melee armor is becoming very resilient to the Spearmen. Spearmen doing 7 damage per strike against them, which is not very much. Arbiter is doing a lot more damage, but have a lot less health. And now the Holy Empire player does back the game. It's Andgrade saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.